Oh. I just love you. Oh, I'm going to grab those. Oh, yeah, okay. You got those. Looking cool. Look out. Look out, Brown Cat. Now you're ready. Hey, Come on. Let's go. Say that to it up. All right. Okay. See you in a few days. I love you. Man weekend. Oh, God bless you. Man weekend. All right, turn down. Come on. You down. Man weekend. Cheap pancakes are turning out, everybody. We're getting them, getting them rolling for these boys. Oh man, much better than last week. Much better. We bumped up the temperature to 400. It worked out. I don't believe. And they didn't stick. Even better news. What's Henry think? <laughs> <laughs> you dunking your pancake in the milk? Yeah. No, that's good. That's a good call. Good job. Using the milk. Soak up a little pancake. Don't mind if I do. Henry wants more. Yum, yum, yum. <laughs> Love you, buddy. Come with me. We're gonna do a little work. I'm gonna work while mama's gone. I got a little project. But I think it'll help you guys. You hope the project's fun? I think it I think it actually will be fun. So Mom and Pop have been Mom and Pop have been talking about you guys using this room for as a Part of your playroom. Yeah, 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 yeah. But, 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 we're gonna take everything out of the room, okay? So, turn the, turn the light, turn the lights on. Spot for the uh, good old torture device. Here we go. All right, ready? Mm -hmm. yeah. Warm enough? A little chilly to be going out. So we're gonna go to a, some dirt, okay? Yay. So kind of like a, tra a trail run, and nothing too too wild. But the reason we're going to dirt is because Papa's coming back from the injury, and I need to stay on soft surface. But it's also good for adapting your legs and bones to running. All right. Remember this past summer when Papa was injured? You guys wanted to go run with me though, but I I couldn't run yet. Well, now I'm back. So now we can uh, now we can go run, and eventually we'll be able to run just right from the house. And then you can stretch like this. This is called your quad, your quad muscles. Get your quads. But again, we're not going to go far. We're not going to go fast because we're just building up that aerobic engine 
and it's going to take years and years. Did you know that? No. Years and years of consistent training, and that's the ticket, is consistency, okay? So if you want to be a great runner someday, it's all about running, not every day when you're your age, but as you get older, the more you run, the more your aerobic development happens, and good things happen. That's why Papa can go out and do some fun stuff on Pikes Peak, you know what I mean? Because I've been running since the age of basically your age, maybe a little older actually. I, I started, I really started like sixth or seventh grade. So, and from there we've, we've gone up. Have I built my aerobic engine? Oh. Yes, I have. Another good one, another good stretch is like this. You can really stretch your quads. Now, if you're gonna, uh, if you're gonna go for a run, you guys, you guys need some fresh DGR hats. Oh, that was cool. Look at those things on the side, okay? And they're perfect, perfect for trail running. So is it too tight? No, I think it's good. Is it good? Now we got the watch. Someday we'll get you guys GPS watches, okay? Um, your shoes are tied. Ready to go? All right, let's close the door here. Off we go. And go. Woo, see that? Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna lead it first. All right, so I'll set the pace, and then you guys follow, and then throughout the run, we'll switch leaders, okay? Sound good? All right, here we go. Pretty cool, huh? <laughs> How those legs feel? <laughs> now, we'll let Joseph lead. Joseph, you take the lead. We'll follow your pace, and then Seth. All right, good job, Joseph. Good job, right there, that's perfect pace. Good job. Woo, we are in the middle. We're just doing it here, exploring. Good job, okay, we'll go one more minute for Joseph and then we'll switch. Proud of you boys. You look strong. Look real strong. There's another runner up ahead. Okay, let's stop there for a sec. Catch our breath. Papa made a rookie mistake. Guess what? I've been running 20 years. And I still make mistakes. Guess what, that's okay. You just live and learn from them, you know what? I didn't tie my shoe tight enough. I, my, shoe, my shoe came untied. Oh. All right, let's tie these up. Good job. Woo, let's go this way, woohoo! Trail along the creek. Whee! It's like a roller coaster. Yeah. Is it fun? Yeah. Watch your, watch your step. Touch the car. Alright, you guys go touch that car. <laughs> Good job, guys. High five. Whoa, proud of you. Whoa, I'm in the books. Dash what? DGI strong. Passing the torch. Love you, boys. Crushed it now. It's always good to pack water. Look at that. Okay? After a run, you always want to have water. So you take a drink of that. You've got to stay hydrated up here at altitude. Woo! 
You did it. Good job, Seth. Good job, load up. That was amazing. Oh my goodness, how'd it feel? Yeah, how do the legs feel? Barking a little bit or are they okay? <laughs> barking, he says. Good, their legs are barking, they worked. Boys, we went about 1.6 miles. Great job. That's a great baseline. And how was the trail running? So one mile point six, so a little over a mile and a half. Guess what? That was the greatest run of my entire life. Do you know that? Yeah. Running with you boys. That was the greatest run out of the thousands and thousands of miles I've ever done. The best one ever. Do you know that? I'm off to a Nerf gun fight. I got to sign off, everybody. Oh, that is why we run, right? Passing the torch, everyone. What a day to share this, this gift of, of running with the next generation. I remember the moments when the, the torch was being passed on to me by my dad, my mom, my coaches in middle school. And uh, that, I mean, it, it doesn't get better. It's, New York City Marathon, Pikes Peak Marathon, UTMB, that's like here. And what just happened today is there's not even a scale for it. Not even a scale. Not in earthly human words, at least. So, whoo, gets me, gets me. All right, Dr. M, comment of the day. You are rebuilding what I am building for the first time. I have never been a runner, uh, but decided to start at 35. Love watching your videos for all the positivity and tips to improve Six days to my first 5K. We believe in you, Stacy. That was the last word. That's, it's, it's, the, it's a domino effect, man. Keep spreading the positivity, the, the hope, the support, the not give it up attitude, and uh, we can do a lot, a lot of good things. So, um, question of the day, when was the torch passed to you in the running world, and who did it? You know, all right, maybe you, maybe, maybe you, I don't know, maybe you just stumbled upon running, but I bet there's a lot of people out there who did not, who actually had somebody teach them running and encourage them and invite them into the running world. I'm gonna stop. I love you. We'll toss it to some goodness, just goodness. I don't know, somewhere in the archive. 2,500 video archive, right there, right there, right there. All right, seek beauty. Work hard and love each other. See you too tomorrow.